Beak. <laughs> hey guys, what is going on? Yes, I am uh, just got off of work. Going to record a video here on the Brad Tragic channel. Um, I've checked out a lot of movies lately, so i got to catch up and get them reviewed before I forget what the hell they're about. But I watched some movie. People tend to like the B movies, so let's go ahead and start with uh, the review and talk about... Um, movie I checked out called Emily. So this movie is on Netflix. I don't think it's been on there that long. So it's probably going to be on there a while. But who knows. But it's kind of a weird movie. Like it doesn't really make sense to me. Um, so basically what happens is, and, and there's a lot of things that clue you in, but immediately, and, and I want to say that I didn't have the volume turned up all the way, so maybe some of the ambience music or something like that really didn't play a factor. Just the movie, knowing what they're saying, whatever, it was late at night, I'm watching this, you know, my wife's behind me, kids are in bed, and I'm watching this movie, and it's kind of a disturbing movie. It's, it's about, uh, basically, and this is kind of what you learn, but pretty much, this girl is a babysitter and uh, she's babysitting for uh, this family. Things come to be um, and things start, she starts doing weird things that babysitters shouldn't do. Um, like she, I uh, know <laughs> one part, there's some, I'm not, I'm not going to like not say anything about the movie to make you want to watch it, but here are just a few things. She, uh, the older boy, which I think is like 11, 12 years old, I think, um, he has a snake. And I'm going to kind of spoil some stuff, but it kind of just has to lead you in the direction of knowing what kind of weird stuff she was doing. Um, but she basically says that the snake would do better with live prey. The little sister, probably a few years younger, three, four years younger, has a hamster. That's all I'm going to say. That's where I'm going to leave it there. She was crying about five, five minutes after this scene. <laughs> as far as I'm going, people, you can watch the movie and figure it out for yourself. There are some other uneasy things, okay? There were some videos in the house that were not kid appropriate. You can only imagine what they were. And the babysitter knew and found out, and she's reading it. She must have knew where they, what they were, because she was looking all over the house, uh, like looking through things, and she had like a purse, and she was like putting things in there. So at first, you know, you just think, you know, okay, she's a thief. She's just stealing stuff. I don't know. It wasn't their usual babysitter. Their usual babysitter had something going on. There's more to it. You find out there's more to it. But pretty much, this movie is kind of, it's very odd. Like, when the end of the movie comes, and about halfway through, you figure out what's going on. Because she starts talking to, to the smallest boy there. And uh, without spoiling a whole lot, let's just say that one of the children, she wants them to go with her. That's all I can say. Really. And basically, that's what the whole entire movie is. The second half of the movie is about. The first half is her just kind of her character being introduced and like, okay, what's wrong with her? And you kind of just get like this ambient feeling, and the music is ominous because it says like, well, on the subtitle thing, it was like ominous mu music playing like three or four times when she was doing like really weird stuff and, and like making the kids watch certain things or. You know, whatever. It's odd, odd, very odd. And it's very, very weird. And it ends in a weird way, too. And there are some weird moments in the movie. And I'll tell you right now, people crack on the actors and stuff like that. This movie had no basis. Like, what the hell is this movie going to be about? Like, I don't even understand what it was going to be about. If this movie had a purpose... 
which it was kind of out there. And the purpose that I think it had, like it strayed too far away from that purpose. And I, without spoiling anything, I think if there was better actors in, in the movie, it would have been a lot better. If they would have had people that actually knew what they were, what they're doing, like acting wise, if they would have paid up to at least get like one major person. What the heck is this? Okay, I don't understand what's going on. I'm watching something going on. I don't understand. Okay, I don't know. This girl was like, got out of her car. Not the movie. I'm talking about something in front of me in my car. <laughs> she, her and her little daughter, it looks like she's like two, three years old, started to walk in to the store. And then they turn around and go right back to the car. And then she gets in the car and her daughter's standing outside and she pulls the car up. And then she gets back out of the car, and now they're heading back in the zone. I don't know what was going on. Like, unless she thought it was, like, jacked. Like, pretty jacked parking. Which it was, but whatever. It don't matter. It's early. Nobody's really here. Anyways, the movie, Emily, E-M-E-L-I-E. -E, spelled kind of weird. Very interesting movie. Now, is it the best movie? Is it an average movie? I would say no. Would I recommend it? I would stay away. I would honestly stay away. I wouldn't waste my time with it because, one, it's one of those movies where you're like, all right, man, this is slow, man. It's got to pick up at some point. It doesn't. It doesn't pick up. It drags, it drags, it drags, and drags. And when finally the things start to happen, you're like, that's it? Like, that's all? Like, that's what the movie is about? And it's kind of stupid. And the way it ends, it leads you to believe they're going to make another one. But it's not that good. Like, don't make another one. It's not that... Like, if I was going to do... I don't even know, man. Unless they get somebody else to play the main... I don't even know, like, what would save it. Like, what characters need to have the better actors? Like, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm thinking it has to be the, the main chick. What is going on with my... There's something going on with my... I think my little mustache here. Whatever. But the movie, like I said, it was okay. It's not the greatest movie in the world. And and I, I fell asleep near the end. And I mean, it wasn't that long because I think I only fell asleep for like five minutes. Because when I went back and I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to review this movie because one, I think it totally sucks. So I want to make sure that I see every minute of the movie. So I went back and watched and found what parts I miss, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, I still don't understand what I missed, because there's some things at the end, and I think they may have cut some stuff out, because you see things, um, he has a friend, and I'll go ahead and say this now, it has no bearing on the movie whatsoever, and confuses me at the end, that's what made me like really want to go back, because I wonder if she did something, and I don't remember her doing something, so if you watch it, after I say this and you figure out what happened to him, let me know. But this dude, uh, one of his friends, the the older kid, has a, has a buddy. And he said, oh, I dropped off some things that my aunt gave me when she went out of the country. She brought it back. And pretty much he, she was, he was like alluding to like bow and arrows and things like that. And you really don't get to see what all is in the bag. But you see at the beginning this little, little black boy riding on the bicycle and he throws a bag into the back of the thing. Um, and his little white friend that he has. <laughs> it's a little treehouse thing. But you don't get to see what all is in the bag, which at the end of the movie, it's, it's really stupid. Like, it makes no sense. I'm not even going to bring it up because I don't want to spoil it, but it, it's stupid anyway. <laughs> but at the very end of this movie, his black friend has a head thing around his head, and, like, there's blood at the top of his head. Like, somebody knocked him out. I don't know. I don't know. At the end, I don't know if she hit him. I don't know. I don't think she did. Maybe I missed it. Maybe it, like, it happened so fast that she did find him and hit him real quick. I have no idea. I have no idea. But there's a bunch of junk that happens at the end. It's like all kind of cluttered and it kind of like shuffles around and you can't really tell what's going on. 
it's it's really weird. And at the end of the movie, they're like they just like do this pan over the house and shows everything that happened, kind of, sort of, but everything's in the dark. Trying to be like the movie was trying to be super artsy and things. It just fell flat completely. Fell flat completely. So I would stay away from it. If you want to see how bad a movie is, <laughs> check this movie out. Oh my god. It was really disturbing. Not really, but kind of some stupid stuff. Like, why would she do that? Like, it's kind of just... It, it's not like wrong, wrong, but it's wrong. You know? It's stuff that you would be like, okay, well, that is wrong, but it's not like over the top wrong. Like, I don't know why somebody would do that, but if some stupid babysitter, I can understand some stupid you know, babysitter probably would do that. But knowing how sick she is... I guess, looking back on it, it would be sick, but not, like, overly, like, making them eat, like, bugs or something like that. She's not doing that, like, in the movie. That would be, like, over the top, <laughs> you know? But she makes him drink something, too, in the movie. I was like, is she going to kill him? Like, but it didn't kill him, so I'll spoil that for you. Because I'm like, what the hell are they drinking? And I'm like, oh, whatever. Anyways, Emily, that's my review Check it out. Let me know what you think. If you've already seen it, let me know what you think down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. I don't understand the movie. So if somebody wants to watch the movie and explain it to me, I just didn't get it. I didn't get it at all. <laughs> oh, and I did want to point this out, because some people may watch this, is that I did a review of a movie called, I think, 13 Cameras. And the actor actually contacted me, and I got really excited because he actually left a comment on the video. Go back and watch my 13 camera review if you haven't seen it. And plus, check the comments because the, the actual actor, I think, made a comment. It, he claimed to be the actor. Anyways, but there's going to be a sequel, and that is flipping amazing because I thought that movie was really interesting. I thought it was really creepy. I thought it was an, a decent concept to a movie, and I think it's an interesting movie. And they made a sequel. They're going to make a sequel. They're, I think they're in the middle of filming it right now, is what I heard through the grapevine. And that is hella interesting. I'm definitely ready to check that out when it comes out. Um, and, and you know, that movie was kind of, kind of like Emily a little bit, but not really. Not, not at all. But like in the tone of it not being like overly exciting and stuff like that. But anyways... I'm ready for that. I'm sure it's definitely going to be better than this movie. <laughs> Emily, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. All that good jazz down below. Let me know what you think. You hate it. You like it. You love it. It's your favorite movie. Something's wrong with you. Anyways, let me know what you think. Keep rocking. Keep on watching weird movies like this. Later, guys. Or don't check it out, please.